Saturday night, and I'm about to try my third whiskey of the night. The first one was a Cavalan Concertmaster, bottled at 40% alcohol by volume. The second one was a Glen Glassaw Octaves Peated, but at first I was mostly getting wood, and the peat only came creeping out of the wood flavors later as it opened up. Very interesting little drown. That was bottled at 44%. Now I have one that's bottled at 45%. And uh, I was looking forward to this quite a bit. It's a sample that was sent to me by Sneerson. Uh, I think it says what it, it says on there what it is. Canadian Club, 40 year old at 45%. So it's 40 years old. I'll have a picture of the bottle right about here. And uh, I don't know, I've never seen this in stores around here. And I inquired about it and they said, oh, that's all long gone, that's sold out. I was looking at a couple of websites and uh, the price was quoted at around $216 Canadian. For a 40 year old, that's, you know, compared to scotch, 40 year old scotch is a lot more money than $216. So I've taken the tape off the top of this. Now we're going to give this a try. Let's pour us a quick size dram, shall we? 40 year old Canadian whiskey. Let's put this little plastic bottle sideways and get the last drops out of it. I've got some water. And I've got my 40 year old Canadian Club at 45% alcohol by volume. Oh, that's rich already. It's Canadian whiskey, but it's Canadian whiskey. That's, you know, cranked up a couple of notches above Canadian whiskey. It has a beautiful nose. I'm getting corn sweetness. I'm getting rye. I'm getting wood. The wood obviously is oak. It smells like ex bourbon. It has a lot of that sweetness. If you like Canadian whiskey, you're going to love this. Let's see how it, see what it looks like. Oh, we got some, we got some legs that are taking their time coming down. Do that again. Okay, let's see the legs coming down. Some of them run fast and the, the next ones run slow. Mm.
That's a beautiful nose. Unmistakably Canadian whiskey. There's some sweetness from the corn, naturally. There's um, grassy. It smells grassy. Like grass or hay. Now the rye is kind of hiding. It's subdued. It's mostly grassy. Let's see if I can get a couple of drops out of here more. Oh, yeah. You get some legs that go fast and then the other legs go slow. Mm. Big drops, big drops. It's got layers. But I'm just going to suspect that a lot of the flavors sort of come together to make one. That it's going to be hard to distinguish one flavor from the other. Let's give that a try. Oh, wow, that is beautiful. That has so much more richness. than 21 year old Canadian whiskey. It's like, yeah, the flavors have all kind of merged together. The sweetness from the corn, the rye, the wood, everything has come together to make one flavor. It's complex because just when you think you've pinned down one flavor, it's not there. It's something else. It's elusive. It's just like, you know, 33-year-old scotch. You can't tell what's what. All the flavors are married together so well that you cannot pick them apart and they all add up to make a whole which is more than the sum of its parts oh let's do this again you know I'm getting hints of vanilla I'm getting hints of caramel on the nose And then just when I think I've pinned it down, then I'm getting rye. And then just when I dig deeper and try to pull out more rye, I get grass and hay. Yet I don't get any grass and hay on the palate. On the palate, I just get this beautiful mushroom cloud of flavor. And then it's hard to pick apart what are the components of that flavor.
do it again. Just perfect. I know it's trite to say this, but it is so silky smooth. It goes down smoother than water. It just goes down, leaving behind flavors of rye. Flavors of vanilla and caramel and chocolate all rolled into one. And along with those flavors of vanilla and chocolate and caramel, then on the aftertaste, it's a little dry. And on, on the aftertaste, I'm getting... grainy, not grainy, but grassiness, grass and hay. But the way the blending of the flavors just come to, comes together as a whole, something quite almost miraculous. Mm. This is, without a doubt, one of the most pleasing Canadian whiskeys that I have ever had the pleasure to taste. It's got so much where all the flavors come together to make one flavor. I am repeating myself, am I not? I'll tell you what, I'll enjoy the rest of this dram and drink to your very good health. Food quick. <laughs> Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>